Welcome to this real-time drawing tutorial series of this Australian Shepherd dog. As you can see, I've already done the outlines and um, I'm providing that file in the downloadable uh, file section of this course. And I'm providing that in A3 size and A4 size as well. So you can print that out and follow along, or if you like, you can just create your own outlines from scratch um, if you want, it's up to you. I'm also providing the reference images that I've prepared, um, also in A3 and A4 size as well. So as you can see, there's two different versions. There's one which is the original image, which is just desaturated to be black and white, and another one uh, which is a bit lightened, so you can see a little bit more of the detail as well, which helps when you're drawing it. And I've created a tutorial on how I prepared these reference images on YouTube, and I'll provide a link to that in the description below. So yeah, as mentioned, I've, I'm providing all of this in A3 and A4 as well, so if you wanna do the drawing in A4, that's fine. As far as pencils go, I'm using three different pencils, um, a 2B, which will be the main one that I'm using to draw, uh, a 4B, which will be to do the darker areas, just to create a bit more contrast. And there's an HB woodless one here, which um, I'm just using a woodless one because I don't actually have a, another HP version of this one. And I've just used the HB to do the outlines here as well. And I might not even use it again. But yeah, it's basically just 2B and 4B are the main pencils I'll be using. I've sharpened these pencils with a Carl Angel 5 pencil sharpener. I can't recommend these sharpeners enough. Um, I had one for about 25 years and it was still working okay until my daughter broke it. So I had to buy a new one. Um, this was around $60 from eBay. And yeah, get yourself one of these, they're, they're awesome. As far as erasers go, I've got two erasers here. I'll probably just be using this one. I might use this one, we'll see what happens. Um, it's basically just like a pen eraser. Uh, I guess it's comparable to a Tombow um, eraser, which I don't actually have one of those. So I'm using this one. So yeah, we'll see what happens. I might not even use this one. Um, I'll probably just be using this one here, which is a wedge top eraser. And it's got these um, sharp corners, which are awesome to do the highlights and a flat edge as well, which, you know, just to do some lighter areas as well. And that basically just goes on the tip of your pencil like that. Yep. And I've got a whole bunch of them from eBay, um, quite cheap as well. For the paper that I'm using here, it's a um, 300 series Strathmore Bristol Smooth. And that's basically it for tools and materials. Nothing crazy. Um, it's all just simple things. Um, you don't have to use these things. You can use your own uh, pencils or whatever you want. It's not really important, okay? In this video, I'm gonna be drawing the eyes and the nose. So before I start, I'm just gonna fold my reference image here because I wanna draw the left eye. I don't want it to get in the way, but I want it as close as possible so I can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna be starting with a 2B pencil and I'm just gonna go ahead and lay down some values around the eye to start off with. I'm just going in circular motions, placing down the values. I'm not really worried about making things um, correct in terms of how dark things are at this point. It's a bit of a shadow here. If I need things to be a little bit darker later on, I'm just going to go over it with um, the 4B pencil later on.
There's a couple highlights over here, which I'm just going to leave uh, blank for now. Just going a little bit darker around the outlines of um, where the eye meets the um, fur here, just because I want to keep that um, clear to whereabouts it is. some of the fur down around the eye as well. We can continue that part in another video. Over here there's a slight overlap I don't want to kill that highlight around the eyelid. this area a little bit and keep that highlight there. Just want to make sure this is dark enough just so I can still see it. Okay, just going below the eye now. And there are some highlights around here as well, which I'm going to try to avoid um, going over too much. I'll probably um, put those values down now and just erase them later on to create those highlights. following the general flow of the of the fur as much as I can 
wherever possible. Over here, there's not much of a fur sort of texture. It's more like um, more like little little circles, little dots. So I'm going to do more of a circular motion, just to keep that texture. It's a little bit darker around here. And over here we can see the nose, the furs on the nose are going over this area. So I'm just going to erase those later on as well. So I'm not too worried about them at this point. They will be done um, when I do the highlights, when I'm doing the fur later on. Same thing here, following the direction of the, of the fur. Gonna go too far up here. I'm just gonna do a little bit above the eye here, and then that'll be this eye finished for now. So I'm just gonna work my way around the top of the eye here, and um, then I'm gonna move on to the blending stage. So I'm just going to place the values down for um, the, these eyes and the nose as well. And then we'll do some um, blending and then erase the highlights just for this, just for the eyes and the nose. So it gets really dark around here. And although we can't really see much um, happening around here, it's sort of just black. I'm going to um, still maintain a texture, a visible texture. Leave that eye as it is for now and move on to the other eye. So I'm going to have to flip this over. And this time it's going to be a little bit hard to see, uh, but it's a bit further away, but that's okay. So, same thing on this eye. Start placing some values down, not worrying too much about um, getting it 100% at this point. We're going to pass over all this again later on.
bit of a kink here as well. All these darker parts over the um, the highlight of the eye, I'm not going to worry about at this stage either. Now this whole eye here is pretty much um, pretty much has some values on it, so I'm going to go ahead and just um, put those values down everywhere. You can't see this, but I'm constantly looking back and forth, seeing what, what the eye looks like and, and putting those values down constantly. Not too worried about this highlight here because we can erase that later on as well. I'm going to try to maintain that highlight under the eye as well, just like we did on the other side. Let's get this dark area underneath. start putting some values down around the eye where the fur is and I'll work my way around the eye As I'm drawing, the, the tip of the pencil naturally has a sort of like a flat side and a sharp side to it. So I'm conscious of what's going on with that and I'm constantly twisting my pencil as well. If I want to create a sharper line, I twist my pencil to the sharper edge. There are some highlights around here, but I'm just going to go ahead and put down the texture by just putting some fur here. I'm going to erase those highlights later on.
always paying attention to the direction of the fur. Over here it starts to get dark again, so I'm just going to put those values down to outline sort of where it gets darker. Good thing about drawing animals is um, when it comes to these kinds of areas with fur, it doesn't really matter if it's exactly where it is on the reference image. As long as the eyes are right and the nose, those are the things that really give it, give the dog likeness. Gradually starts to get a bit lighter around here. Probably gone a little bit too dark there, but that's okay. Don't want to venture too too far away from the eye because, um, you know, this video just I want to focus just on the eyes. So I'm just going to keep that as it is. This dark area probably needs to move up just slightly. Just under the eye here, it needs to be a little bit darker, so I'm just going to go over that again. Okay, it's some circular motions around here, just to give it that texture that it needs. Okay, let's move on to the top of the eye. I'm gonna raise this dark area just here a bit more to make his eye look a little bit bigger. You can see that the paper is um, lifting off the, um, the table just slightly. That's because of my hands heating up the paper where I'm holding it. So to avoid that problem, you could just use uh, another sheet of paper and place your hand over that one. So that's what I'm gonna do here. I'll just use this other reference image to do that. down the texture around here as well. Circular motions here and fur over here.
going up towards the white area here and going down towards the white area here. Continue my way along the top of the eye here. Same thing, just follow the um, direction of the fur and put some values down, basically. Without being too, too worried about um, the detail too much, where the highlights are and things. Because there's gonna be a highlight pass. We pass over and, and raise all the areas where there are highlights or lighter areas. And these really dark areas right here, we're going to go over with a 4B pencil to um, increase the contrast. It's important to mention here that um, I'm putting down these um, values down looking at the reference image that's been lightened, okay? But actually, this drawing here is more of an accurate uh, representation of, of the contrast in the image. These areas are way too dark, obviously, but um, these sort of areas here where you can see the fur, they're not so highlighted over here. So when we do the highlights, they don't have to look exactly like this and, and be um, super high contrast like this. Just a few highlights around here and around here is enough. Okay, I'm gonna leave that eye as it is for now and move on to the nose. To do that, I'm going to move this over again, place it over here, and start drawing the nose.
this whole step that I've done so far is um, just uh, focusing on the medium tones. So we're going to go over it again and do the dark areas and go over it again and do the highlights. some of these darker values in here. Okay, to the top of the nose here. Twisted my pencil to use the sharp edge. The nose has a kind of like a elephant skin kind of texture on it. Um, and I'm not going to worry about that too much at this point. That texture will be um, achieved by erasing. So I'll show you that later on. But right now, just circ circular motions and making sure the, um, the values are all placed um, in the right areas for the most part. That's probably gone a bit too high. It's going to raise that. This here, like I said before, this is the lightened reference image. And this area is probably lighter than it needs to be. If you look at this one here, it's a lot darker. See? So that's kind of more I want to, what I want to do around the nose. So I'm going to go ahead and just put some values down in a circular motion just to get some kind of texture happening. I've also noticed now that this, this line here that comes along here, distance from here to here does not match here to here. So it's probably because of my outlines. I'm following the outlines, but um, it's important to check that again. So I'm just going to push this dark area over a little bit more. just to keep that distance the same. And this is where it helps to print your reference images out exactly the size you want to draw them. Otherwise it's a bit hard to notice those things sometimes. All right, circular motions again. Continue down here, this dark area where the nose meets the fur.
this highlight around here under the nose. Uh, same thing, I'm going to erase it later on. Not worry about it too much at this point. Just going to get some bit of texture around here as well. So where the nose meets the fur here, I'm just going to put some sort of lines to blend that into the into the fur. Let's just put down these base values here. Circular motion to maintain that texture. A bit darker up here. Just gonna put down some sharp sort of lines here to represent that area there. We're still gonna smudge and do highlights. Around here, just put down some light values. So that we have something to smudge. Alright, let's do the bottom of the nose here. Won't worry about the mouth in this video. We'll do that when we're doing the rest of the, the head. So this is mainly about um, putting down values in the right place and making sure that the textures are correct.
Okay, I'm happy with that for now. So now I'm going to take my blending stump and then pass over everything I've done um, and sort of blend in all the, the pencil strokes that I've put down so far. We'll start with the nose. When you do this and blend these pencil strokes, it kind of takes a bit of the detail away. And that's why I like to go over it again one more time after blending. Just to put those details back in a little bit. Not too worried about the darker areas, just more where the highlights are. So just here I've noticed on my drawing, it's sort of like a very sort of smooth round um, line around here, but on the, on the reference image, it sort of comes out, this dark area comes out. So I'm just going to do that again and maybe just push this out a little further. Could also just erase it a little bit under here. Okay. Blend that in a bit. Okay, let's move on up here. Okay, let's do this eye now. For areas like these, the highlights don't need to be completely um, white. As I said before, this, this is the actual image we're drawing from, really. And um, yes, there's some really bright highlights on his nose, but um, we'll, get, we'll get away with just doing it um, sort of, if it's not completely white when we erase it, it's fine. The highlights on the eyes need to be a lot more sharp compared to the nose. So I'm not going to go over this area too much.
let's do this eye now. Just blending in all these values to give the drawing a bit more of a smoother look. Okay, now I'm going to go over it again uh, with a 2B pencil, but this time as I'm doing it, I'm going to also do the highlights as well. What I've done so far is kind of like a base sort of foundation, but this next step, it's a, it kind of like just gets you to the end result um, easier doing this first. So I don't have to do all the groundwork. So now it's just a matter of um, um, doing the details again and, and making it, getting it to a finished stage basically. So I'm going to do some highlights around here. So the tip of the eraser is not thin enough to achieve um, such fine lines like this. Okay, so that's why um, it's pretty much just a matter of doing this first and erasing it and then going over it and trying not to destroy the highlights that I've erased. Basically just put a texture in there. This here is a printed image. My drawing um, can't be as good as this unless this was bigger if this was an maybe an a2 size or even bigger maybe then i could put that much detail into it but at this size it's quite difficult to do that so it just needs to be at a stage where it's kind of good enough I would say that that area is finished. So because we've done the highlights first and then gone, gone over it with the pencil, um, you can see it's much sharper, sharper highlights.
just going to put a little bit of highlight around here, some dots to increase that texture. Okay, now the area above the, the eye here, I'm just going to do the highlights first, just to get those white areas back a bit. Then I'm going to go over it again with the um, pencil. But this time, as I said, this is going to be at a finish stage, so just pay attention to where the fur is and sort of make more definitive lines that you're happy with. Without killing the highlights too much. Okay to go over it again just slightly. With the eraser. bring back some of these highlights.
now I'm going to finish the um, inside of the eye as well. So we've got a lot more um, darker lines up here to represent the reflection of the of the fur above the eye. It's a bit darker around this area here. Sort of gradually gets lighter going around the outside. There's also a lighter area just here that I'm going to erase. There we go. Okay, I would say this, this eye is pretty much finished. Just gonna do just a little bit of blending up here to sort of get this area a little more joined to be more like the reference image. Also over here. Just define this line a little bit more. Now that I've smudged it, it's gone a bit. And this area is a bit darker. down here. It's going to make it a bit darker down here as well. I'm spending a lot of time on the eyes because um, when it comes to drawings like this of dogs and animals, um, that's where most of the detail really is. The rest of the um, the um, portrait is ma mainly just fur and those parts don't really need so much attention. It's the eyes and the nose that make it look like the actual dog, mostly. Okay, I'm happy with that eye. I'm just going to move on to the other one now. All right, so same thing, just adding more detail. Let's go ahead and erase these highlights a bit. When you erase, um, clean the eraser quite often because when you erase these parts, you're picking up the the graphite onto your eraser and then when you erase again you put it back down again so 
since we want really sharp sort of clean highlights it's a good idea to keep cleaning your razor Okay, now let's add the darker areas and the sharp sort of fur, like we did on the other eye. I don't like the shape of this shadow here. It seems to get smaller around the end, so I'm just going to erase a bit more here. Okay, moving around to the inside part of the eye here. Same thing, circular motions where you need to and fur and other places like this.
let's get some of these sharper lines up here as well so going around and then bouncing back between erasing and and putting some detail down just bouncing back and forth between erasing highlights and putting detail down Taking a look at where the highlights need to be as well. Again. Okay, let's do the inside of the eye now. I'm just around here, it's a bit darker as well. So just paying attention to where the shadows are where the highlights are and um, putting more detail into it. This highlight is not this big. It's going to push this up slightly. Okay, and now there's a lot more reflection over here. There's a lot more reflection on the highlight here. But I'm keep being careful not to kill the um, too much of the highlight. There's some sort of horizontal lines as well here. Okay, that'll do. Now this part of the pupil is darker. Just the edge around this highlight is a bit darker as well. around here now I'm going to 
add that highlight over here. Just raise this a slightly. Okay. And just reshape it again. So a couple light little dots around here and here. I'm going to blend the top of this one down a bit. And it's a bit darker around here as well. I want to bring back this sharp little highlight over here, just like that. Okay, that's pretty much done for that eye. I'm going to move on to the nose now. So I'll flip this back around. As I mentioned earlier, the um, the texture around the nose um, you can see around here. I said I was going to do that with the eraser. So basically what I'm going to do first of all is make it a little bit darker because I don't like how the nose is a bit too light at the moment. And that's probably because I've been following this one rather than this one. So I'm just going to make the whole thing a little bit darker before I um, do the, those, that skin texture. I could of course just draw this sort of texture in by doing these little sort of circles like this as well. going to use a 4B pencil for this part because I don't want to press too hard on the paper like I've been doing.
Okay, that'll do. I'm just going to blend that in a bit before I do the highlights. So I basically just make the entire nose a bit darker. here again. Let's do the highlights. So we've got some on this bottom edge, some on this bottom edge, some along the top here as well, and I'll do some of the fur as well around here. So let's go just slightly around here and here. And then we've got some really sharp ones around here. that goes in a bit here. And along the bottom here. do to get this texture is basically just um, erase these little sort of sections like this. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's just a texture. It's so that when, when the person looks at this drawing they can see something there. They can see that something's going on with the texture over there. As it goes down, it sort of blurs, blurs away slowly. It's also up here, slightly. So we're going to go over along here. And slightly around here as well. Just put some kind of texture down. Now I'm going to go over it again with a pencil, just slightly, uh, without trying not to damage the um, texture that I've created. So basically just try and give it more detail. And we get that by basically putting these darker lines around.
just gonna raise around here just slightly. Go over it again with the blender. Okay, now I'm just gonna blend just slightly without killing this texture. Now I can see that it's a little bit more of a, a larger shine around here. So I'm just gonna go over this area here, just again, one more time to make it lighter. And just go over the fur around the nose one more time. And we're almost there. There's some very sharp highlights around here that I want to capture as well. So I'm going to erase and then go over again. just to erase this bottom edge here I haven't done yet so I'm just going to do that I forgot about it just give it some texture as well This one as well with the 4B because I did it the first time. Just to define that nostril area just a little bit more. Blend this slightly. Um, at this stage, I can see that the eyes are a little bit sharp. Um, they look just look more sharp than the nose. The nose looks slightly blurry, and that's basically because there's no sharp, definitive lines like there are on the no on the eyes on the nose. So to improve that, there's two ways to go. Either I can blur these ones slightly, 
using the blender, or I can just make sharper lines around here. So I'm just going to do the latter and um, basically just define some of these lines a little bit more, just quickly. There's not really much to sharpen here other than the actual texture. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll just go through these, these grooves slightly to um, improve the sharpness of the texture. If it looks a little bit funny, I'm going to blend it slightly. Okay, that looks slightly better, in my opinion. Okay, that pretty much wraps it up for this, this particular video. Uh, in the next one, I'm going to start doing the basically the rest of the drawing, because it's all just... It's all just fur, basically. It's pretty much the same process all around the ears and the, um, the neck as well. I'll see you then.